Hey, what is up, guys? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a new ESC. Now, this is a 4 in 1 ESC by Hack RC. It's called E50 Amp 4 in 1 ESC. It is a BL Heli 32 ESC that is 3 to 6S LiPo rated at 50 amps and a 65 amp burst, which is pretty insane. Now, right off the bat, as we can tell right here, it does have a nice little fat heat sink. Let's see what it comes with before moving on to the ESC here. So we will be testing it for noise testing and all these kinds of other crazy cool things. Now here they do provide us with the standoffs. So the screws are metal and also we do have uh, the nylon standoff here, spacers right there. So that's really nice. They give us a low ESR capacitor. Everyone's giving us Rubicons for some reason now. So they do provide us with a 35 volt, 470 microfarad Rubicon low ESR capacitor. Really nice to see. Also, we get our cable here to set it up to a flight controller, which is also really nice to see. And a pre-made XT60 connector. Well, I really hope we are because we're paying quite a lot for this ESC. And here is the huge instruction manuals. Let's see. So it does have one current sensor on board. If we take a look here, it's on the other side of the board. It's under the FET here. So we do have one current sensor. And let's just double check its orientation. Now its orientation looks somewhat weird, I would say. Actually, no, it's set up like this. So it can help you with that. But it's reversed. So if we flip that, then motor one would be here, motor two, motor three, and motor four. So in that perspective, yeah, the orientation is correct. So you'd want to put it in your quadcopter like this, the battery in the back, and these motors sticking out, which is the way I kind of like to put a 4 in 1 ESC in my quadcopter. But again, that's a personal preference type of thing. So what else do we have here? We do have a 5 volt regulator on board, and we also have a current sensor, VCC and ground from these, and here's motors one through four. So it's very simple, very basic. Let's take a look at this side here. So it's rated up, it's rated up to 65 amp for 10 seconds, which is pretty crazy. It's a 50 amp, weight 16 gram uh, capacitance, I think with the low ESR, possibly, I'm not sure, 968 microfarad. So we're gonna see this, they're not stating, oh, they're not adding a note like other ESCs to please attach the low ESR capacitor. And in this test, we will not attach the low ESR capacitor. And we're going to test it as is to get its raw performance. So enough talking and let's just jump to the testing. Alright guys, so the results are in for the Hack RCE50. Now this is a 4-in-1 ESC that's rated up to 6S. So let's take a look at this. Now on the left side here we have the throttle noise level test, which is just to tell us the amount of noise on each throttle level. We have 10%, 25, 50, 75%, and 100% throttle. These two are exactly the same. This is just the colored version so you can get an idea of what's going on. And on the right side, we have the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. It just, you know, simulates aggressive flight. So we can kind of see what's really going on in the system here on the bench. So as you can tell, here is just the, the both of these results are exactly the same. If you're new to the channel, the bottom one's the color coded. So you can kind of get an idea of what's going on. Now, before continuing, guys, if I do help you choose an ESC or an avoid an ESC, please consider using my links down below. Those greatly support the channel. I need all the support I could possibly get to keep the channel afloat. And that would be just super awesome, guys. And I also do have a Patreon if you want to support me there. That would be super amazing. All right, so let's get started. Now, this is a pretty expensive ESC. It's around $65 ESC, so I'm expecting a lot more. Well, I'm expecting a lot, to be honest. Uh, but since it's rated for a 6S, let's just take a look. Now, theoretically, if it's rated for a 6S, it should run 4S pretty clean. And these tests were done on 4S setups. Now, for motor use, it's the Brother Hobby R6, I think, 2450KV2306. So they're pretty massive, noisy motors here. And this is, all, this is the same motor that I use for every 4-in-1 ESC test here. 
So let's get started. Now, if you take a look at the throttle noise level test, I kept having these weird jitters throughout my tests. Uh, this is one of the most, you know, aggressive one that I really had the most in here, but it's always around this area right here, which is 27, this is 25% uh, throttle. On the change between 25 to 50% throttle, it had this weird jitter, but overall everything else was pretty clean. It was pretty decent. So I didn't have that little hiccup right there. And this is, this is, I don't know what that could be. Now, in terms of mid throttle oscillation, I think this ESC has a very low chance of causing that from electrical noise. Um, it is somewhat, it's actually pretty decent here. It's, it's, and it's an average ESC. It's in the top average ESCs. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. It's decent enough. Um, so right here, this seems pretty good because around 75% throttle is where ESCs are the most noisy. And this did come with a low ESR capacitor. However, I didn't test it with a low ESR capacitor because this test would just be perfect basically. All right, now let's jump to simulated aggressive flight maneuvers here. Now we do, we do have some pretty big voltage spikes but they're not that massive because they've only they only last for such a split second here but it was reaching 27 volts which is kind of scary a bit since this is rated for a 6s so if we're talking if we're putting here a 6s we're gonna see some pretty huge possible voltage spikes bigger than 27 volts uh which can cause some harm if you don't add low esr capacitor now it's highly recommended if you're running this with a 6s to add that low esr capacitor that's what it's there for however they didn't mention anything in the documentation take that into consideration also now for the overall test the simulated aggressive flight maneuver test it's testing very well actually this is really nice to see and uh, let's start comparing it to other things so you kind of get a better idea of what's really going on here now what i'm going to bring first is let's just bring in the dys aria 4-in-1 esc and if we bring it here this does you see that this is what you kind of don't want to see and this is doing really really good compared to the dys aria uh four and one esc dys aria single escs are really good now i'm comparing four and one escs so you know it, it, the the hack rc is actually doing pretty good and hack rc is a really like hit and miss product sometimes uh, from what I've noticed through testing. And I'm going to bring in a little ESC called the Ori32, which is a 20 by 20 stack, just to compare if this actually beats it. So it does actually beat it, which is really nice to see here. And this is a 20 by 20 stack. This is one of the best 20 by 20 stacks on the planet, I think. I'll have it linked down below. Oh, again, if you could check those out, those greatly support the channel. Um, so yeah, the, 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 the Hack RC E50 is doing very well on a 4S test. Now, this is bench testing. This will not dictate the longevity the, the 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 overall uh stress it could take now if it can take my test then it should be pretty good enough to last somewhat of a decent while all right so maybe we should compare it to the dal rc rocket now we're gonna we're gonna compare this to dal rc rocket 50 amp because it's a 6s big mosfets just like this one and it's in the same uh i would consider it class of rating however not class of uh uh, performance because I can't answer that but we can kind of get an idea here so let's just take a look here so here's the Dal RC rocket and uh, as you can tell the hack RC is doing slightly better here but however the 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 Dal RC rocket didn't have these weird jitters as you can tell right there so overall uh, the the hack RC in the noise simulator aggressive flight maneuver is actually doing quite uh, better here uh, so let's bring in one of the best it, 4 and 1 ESCs on the planet, which is the Tico 32 4 and 1 ESC. So we can get an idea also here. So here's the Tico 32 noise, and uh, let's take a look at this. So there, it's very difficult to tell here, but I I still think the Tico 32 4 and 1 ESC is, is better, but not to not not by a lot, but it's still pretty good here but you know the thing is what trips me out here is the throttle noise level test doesn't seem as clean as simulated aggressive flight maneuvers which is pretty trippy i've never had that before i mean if we bring in the tico 32 throttle noise level test here you can see it runs a lot cleaner than the hack rc here so it kind of gives us a better perspective also that the tico 32 is running a little bit better than the hack rc now the hack rc seems to be doing actually quite good to be honest uh which is really nice to see actually to be honest, I, I didn't expect this much of a good result now, now that I'm comparing it here, uh, so let's bring in something else. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Maybe some of you want to see. You remember the Mamba stack, that forty-three stack, forty-three dollar stack, with the uh, that comes with the flight control and everything. Now this test was done with a low ASR capacitor, so uh, you can't. We can't really compare. But this is a really good result. But this had a low ASR capacitor. But as you can tell here, the hacker is doing quite good. But again, the 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 throttle is just uh it's weird 
the throttle here, as you can tell here. So I, I, I don't really know what's going on here. Why is the throttle so nasty? And why is simulated aggressive flight maneuver so nice here? So yeah, I need to do a little bit more digging into this. Maybe this was affecting it somehow. Uh, but I, I can't tell this could be a grounding issue by the way. I did ground them uh, But sometimes it's, things like this can happen from a grounding issue, which is uh, it could be just a hardware design Possibly I can't really answer that just yet. I have to do a little more digging in here um, But overall, it's a pretty good ESC actually um, It's a really it seems like it's a good ESC at least here on the bench testing I uh, will have it in the six, six S shootout videos. I've already started on those and I'll be preparing the uh, data and uh, also one of the first edited videos for uh, the first bunch of ESCs that I've tested. So overall, uh, the hack RC seems pretty good here on bench testing and that's all I can really say guys. So overall, it's a good one. If you used it, please let us know down in the comment section and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, if you guys could support the channel, that can go an absolute long way to keep the channel afloat and well, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.